Hey there, I'm Lily O'Reilly and this is Lily O'Reilly Reviews, where today we're reviewing a little toy that I picked up off Amazon. Now, this toy was given to me for free in exchange for a review, which, as you guys know, does nothing to change how I review. So, let's get to it, huh? Okay. So today we're reviewing another toy from the company All Overs on Amazon. Again, this toy was received free in exchange for a review. Now, just like the last toy I picked up from All Overs, which I believe is a Chinese company selling on Amazon, the name of the toy is a bit ridiculous. This toy, for example, is a G-Spot Rabbit Vibrator Clitoris Nipple Vagina Stimulator Vibrators with 10 powerful vibrating modes, cute pink waterproof rechargeable adult sex toys for women and couples. That's the whole name of the toy. I'm going to call it Bunny. So, it showed up super discreet, Amazon packaging, big brown box, you know, nothing you really gotta worry about. Inside is this little black box. And inside that box is a little blue bag, a little white charger, and a user manual that is apparently not written in English. So, ooh, hey, there is, there's an English bit. They just folded it wrong. Apparently inside the book, it goes by Rabbit Massager. You're supposed to charge it for 35 minutes before using it. Please clean it with warm water or neutral lotion. Do not clean your toys with lotion. That's a terrible idea. Do not turn, please do not place the product on over 70 degrees. Please stop using this product immediately when you're feeling abnormal. Please stop using product immediately if it is damaged. Okay, those all sound like pretty good guidelines. Um, it is waterproof grade IPX7, has 10 frequencies, <clears throat> charges via USB. It claims that the maximum noise is less than 50 decibels and it weighs 80 grams. It's made out of silicone and it has a lithium battery. Super cool. In their box, they say that it has a working time of two hours and a charging time of an hour and a half, which is good to know. I, as always, did not charge the damn thing because I was in such a hurry to try it out and it worked fine. So, moment of truth. The bunny itself is tiny, pink, adorable, and it looks like this. It's actually cute. It's the sort of thing that you could throw in your purse and people might actually not know what it is. It's got two little floppy ears. There's a little nose at the front of the face, but overall it's a smooth egg shaped toy. It retails on Amazon for about $22 USD and they do have a 10% discount if you use the code JMB27V7M. Huzzah, I'll put it in the description so you can get to it. It's silicone, it's waterproof. It says it has nine vibration modes and it is utterly incapable of standing up on its own. So, it's charger is the standard USB pin charger we've seen in the past. One end plugs into a USB, the other end goes into the little hole in the side of the toy. Oh, and that's how it charges. You can't really ask for a more discreet charger to have lying around your house. So to turn it on, it has a small dot and a long line. You hold down the small dot for about three seconds and it should power on. From there, you tap it, and it has a low rumble, slightly higher rumble. The ears are actually moving so fast, you almost can't see the vibration. It goes higher. I'm holding it next to the mic, just so you know. And then you get into the patterns. 
It has a great escalating. It has a good number of vibrations. Now this thing, I'm going to power off because it's making my hand go to sleep. So this toy is actually pretty cool. Due to how it's built, I definitely wouldn't call this a penetrative vibrator. It's more the sort of toy where if you have your clit, you slide the ears up on either side of it and it vibrates both sides, which is great if you don't like super direct toward the tip stimulation. You also can insert the ears in between your labia, although to be honest, for me, that didn't really do much. Or you can use the little bunny nose because the vibrations travel really well to there if you need more direct stimulation. As far as softness goes, the base is super firm. That's where the actual vibrations happen. The nose has a little bit of squish, not a ton, but a little softness. And the ears are moderate firmness. You can bend them, but I definitely wouldn't call them soft and squishy. I don't know if I would necessarily recommend this as a personal use vibrator. For me, I like the doxy. I like very strong sensations that are able to rattle the whole pubic bone. This is a very surface sensation kind of toy. It is amazing for doing shows with it though. Due to the fact that you can lay the ears on either side of the clit, you can get an incredibly good looking visual. It's a great way for your viewers to see exactly what's happening and it does provide an orgasm. It's just not for me as strong or as satiating as the ones I get from a doxy or something that provides penetration. But if you're looking for a cute, non-human, non-threatening vibrator that most people aren't going to look at and think sex toy, the Bunny from All Overs really isn't a bad choice, and for 20 bucks. So for me, I like the bunny. I think it's cute. I'm glad I got it to try out, and it's probably something that I will use for shows, but it's not something that, like, I'm going to toss in my purse and carry with me. So, yeah, that's my weird little Amazon bunny. If you appreciate the review, this helped you make a decision, or you just like what I'm doing here, thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment. Yeah, that's it. I'm just glad you guys are here. So it's all good. And until next time, bye guys.